please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do You Want If You're New and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make waterproof stickers using your Cricut and how to fix your print thin cut. Have you ever printed something out and it didn't look right, it was off, and you were like, what's going on Cricut? I'm going to show you how to fix that. Yes, I am. So. I'm going to show you how to put these stickers on cups. You would have to seal it if you want to put it on cups, but you can put them in planners. And this is my planner. It is a Brunch of Dreamers planner, and it is available on DoShopOn.com. But enough of me talking, y'all. Let me show you how I made these adorable stickers. Look up. All right, y'all. So our materials today are going to be our Cricut Maker. We're going to use our mat. Now, I'm not using this today, but I'm going to do a video on these soon. I want, I got the clear ones, and I may even do a comparison of the printable uh, steer, the printable sticker paper that's clear. But I need the Neato, um, I need the Neato Mat waterproof ones too. Um, some printable vinyl. We'll do something on that later. But what we're going to use today is going to be printable sticker paper. This is just the heavyweight because this is just what I had. You don't have to use that exact one, but I'm using it because this is what I had on hand. I'm going to be using some Scotch single-sided laminated sheets because I'm going to make sure these are waterproof. All right. So let's go. So here is a brunch of dreamers. Here is my planner. This is available on doshopon.com. And everything inside of it, budget, 12-month focus, calendar focus board, daily tasks, to-do list, weekly meal planners, goal setting, travel itinerary, all types of stuff, okay? You know all those things you wanted to do? You should do them. Anywho, so this is how it looks in the inside. And these are where I'm going to be putting some of the stickers. Okay, the months are not, um, the months are blank, so you can make it any month you want. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna just quickly show you these stickers that I've actually had since March 8th, 2020. I had these stickers since then because I came out with my A Brunch of Dreamers planner, which I'll show you guys later. And I was going to put this in the planner, but then I wasn't sure about the um, Canva things. I know the I know what you can and can't do in Canva now, but then I wasn't sure. So I just kind of let it stick. But oh, today we making stickers, baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. These are actually my clip art right here. This is mine. And then I created these. If you see. I created these inside of Canva. And if you're interested, I may go live and show you. I don't know if I'll do a video, but if you guys are interested, I can go live and show you how I did it. You see how that's the vacuum and then clean up. I typed that out. It was a long time ago, but I know I can figure it out. <laughs> Anywho, I'm just quickly going to show you these. And then you see how I put that together. And then I'm going to meet you in um, Cricut Design Space. I also created these. But I'm going to quickly just scan through them. Pay that, yes. Save. Mm-hmm. And then we, I can meet you in Cricut Design Space. I just want to show you this really quickly. Ooh, water. I like that. So this is my um, actual planner. This is how it looks. This is one of my logos for one of my groups, Dreamy Mamas. And then Queen Dreamer, you guys should know about that group. And then I'm a Dreamy Mama. Okay. 
And then you saw those. But let me show you what I did to this really quick. Really quick, I went to Elements and I searched Starbucks and then I grabbed that and this is a pro version. You can try Canva for 30 days and my link down in the description. But I do have the pro, okay? So you can check that out. But look, so you'll know if you can change the color of items if up here it shows you this. So look at this. I changed it to match, you know, my branding. But that's so cute. All right, and that's it down there. But okay, let's go ahead and meet me in Cricut Design Space so I can show you which ones I chose. <laughs> because unfortunately, I won't be printing all of these out for the video. So I'm just gonna pick a couple really cute ones and then, yeah. So I already uploaded them into Cricut Design Space, but I'm just gonna show you what that would look like. You can upload the image, press upload image, and you could either go to browse or drag and drop. For this one, I'm gonna drag and drop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you if something doesn't, I mean, if something has a background, what you can do. So we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that one. Okay, and then we're gonna go to complex. We wanna make sure we get all the fine details everything all right and as you see it's a white background on here so you can go to automatic or you can go to select manual i'm gonna go to select manual and now i remove the background but inside of this is still the background so i'm just gonna apply and change continue and then you'll know if the background was really gone if it shows like a block here all right but it shows everything is all good then we're gonna select print then cut image okay we're gonna upload it and voila now we can select what we want to put you see as i select it it goes inside so i have a bunch of stuff y'all it's actually even more it's, it's actually even more but i'm just gonna go with a couple oh let me go back to upload i press cancel i'm just gonna go with a couple for right now let's see let me go to view all so i can see all the ones and see what i want to upload right now let's see how difficult let's see if we could let's see if some of these are difficult or not so let's bring up some of the words we're going to start with the harder ones first to see if these would be hard or easy okay so i'm going to add those to canvas and we're just going to see because it could be a little bit different on pictures now all of these are pretty large so we're gonna just make them smaller okay and I went to the top and put for the width five and then it redid all of them so we're gonna see <laughs> if this is gonna be difficult or not because these are words you know we're gonna see how this works so the first thing we're gonna try is nap queen let's look at that one so I'm going to select the image and then I'm going to go to offset. Then I'm just going to press apply at the point and see. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Oops. So that's something you have to make sure that you're attaching these and flattening them, because if you don't, it won't work out. So we're going to just flatten it real quick. So now it's one solid image. Oh, that looks so cute. And you can have the background black, white, purple, green, whatever color you want. But that looks super cute. So I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to show you how I do my setup. So I'm going to go to offset. It's automatically on 0 0.25. It's calculating because this image is kind of complex. So that's why I wanted to see how this would do it for this one and you see that green button that means it's loading because it's trying to figure out how am i going to offset all of this stuff so i just want to see how it works because typically i've seen people do really easy ones and i want to see how difficult ones will go so it just keeps going so what i'm going to do is i'm going to assume that it may be a little bit too difficult for it and i'll try later but for the sake of the video i'm just going to cancel it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to oops i didn't mean to do that I'm going to go ahead and just grab an image, okay? And I'm going to do a circle, and I'm going to make it white. So let me take this background, and I'm going to change the color. I don't want it. I'm going to change the color 
to a gray just so we can see it so now i'm going to take the circle and i'm going to move it backward move center back Hmm. Then I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to flatten it. And then I'm just going to do, so I'm going to do this one like this because it was too difficult. We got the nap queen one, but this one got too many things going on. Let's see if we can do payday. I'm going to go to offset. Oh, they was able to make, oh. Okay. All right. And we definitely want to change that background because we can't see it so we can change the color to whatever we want and we can even change the size of of the offset so we can we can change even the color and the size of the offset so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this color pink see if i like it f993 c7 these are called hix codes okay so I'm going to see that hex code for that one. And then I'm going to flatten it. All right. And then I'm going to show you how we actually put it on. Um, okay. It's able to do this one. Change that color to light gray pink. We're going to select it. Flatten. Okay, so now that it has that offset background, and if we wanted to put something in the middle, we could put something in the middle and then weld it, etc. But not weld it, I'm sorry. We could put something in the middle and then attach it if we wanted to, but we're not going to do all of that. But so we can see, we see how large the image is, okay? We can make it smaller, however you want to do it. And I'm going to show you how I make a template for the printout, okay? But first, let's upload the other ones that I want to do. Okay, so now that we have that all together and we see what sizes they are, etc., what we're going to do is we're going to make a template. We're going to go to shapes and we're going to go to a square. And then we're going to unlock the square and we're going to make it 6.75 by 9.25, okay? And this is going to be the largest print thin cut that we know Cricut can do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this to the back, send to back, and then we're going to arrange our stickers. And we're going to see how many we can get on here, okay? So each sticker could be big, small, however you want the stickers to be. And then you're going to try to see how many stickers you can get on here. All right, because we know this is the largest that it can print then cut. Now, you may want to even measure, like in my in my planner, if I wanted to measure um, the pages or certain things I wanted to put it on, I could do that to make sure the stickers aren't too big. If you're putting them on cups or tumblers or anything like that, you want to make sure that as well. You don't want to put the, them too close to each other because you don't want them to get cut up. See, they'll get cut through each other, okay? So we're going to just see how many can go on here. I'm so excited. Y'all been wanting to do stickers for years. Those are all the images. And if you want, guess what you could do? You could just duplicate it to fill it up because we don't want to waste nothing. So we're just going to duplicate it, <laughs> Nap Queen. So funny. Okay, so now we know this is, let's make her a little bit bigger. All right, you could just play around, adjust however you want to do it. 
Now we're going to delete that square. You see that the square is highlighted. We're going to delete it. Then we're going to uh, attack. We got, we selected everything. Okay. So you want to make sure that you select all, select all of the stickers. We're going to attach them. And then we're going to flatten them so they can be one print then cut image together okay so let's go to make it and now everything is flattened attached is going to print then cut this whole thing all together okay continue we're going to send it to our printer and we're going to use our HP Office Jet Pro 90 is really 9015, but they only have the 9010 series in here. Um, you can do the bleed or you don't have to do the bleed. I'm going to do the bleed on this and I'm going to use our system dialog. What's going to happen here is when you press print, this dialog box, if this is not full screen, the dialog box is going to be behind this. So you're going to have to push it down to get it. Okay. A lot of people will know what happened to the, to the, um, dialog box that can't find is not printing. Once you have this up, you are going to select the correct paper. You could do auto. If it's glossy, if it's heavyweight, you'll put whatever is according to yours. I'm just going to put auto select for right now, but we are going to do best quality. You always want to use best quality. Okay. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and print it out. Once it's printed out, the base I'm going to use specifically for mine is not going to be printable sticker paper or printable. It, it's white or clear. I'm not using. Oh, let's go back. I don't want to use that. What I'm going to use is plastic transparency because I am putting the lamination sheet over it. I'm going to use this setting right here. Okay. And then I'm going to press more and we're going to go ahead and let this Cricut do what it do. I'm not sure what's going on. I think the paper might be too heavy or something, but you see it kept printing out like that. So I had to actually use my printable vinyl for this because it wasn't working with the heavy sticker paper. Like I said, this is just what I had at home. So we're going to use the printable vinyl. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, line this up. We made sure that it was dry. We don't want any issues. Uh -oh. We don't want any buckles. You want it nice and smooth. And then how we're going to make it waterproof is we're going to take our single-sided laminating sheets from Scotch. And we're going to put it on here. But first, we're going to do this first. You see these marks? So it's a couple things people do. People tape, people use a marker. We're not going to do none of that. Because when it's sticky, it's hard for the cricket sometimes to read it. So what we're going to do is, let's see. All right. I am going to... Cut it right inside and if you actually could get my little light so that's that you can kind of see through the paper too actually We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut the paper. It don't have to be perfect because this is just going to be what's going over to make it waterproof. All right. 
what? We're going to see if it covers up all the inside. Perfect. And then the Cricut can still read the registration marks. Okay? So the Cricut can still read the registration marks. I'm going to take this. What we're doing is just trying to, okay, see it lifted up just a little bit. Because we took the top part off. All right. So now we're going to pull it down a little bit. And we're just going to. Be careful, because it's very, very sticky. Hold on. We're going to take our little squeegee and roll it down. Okay. So, ooh, looky, looky. Now, y'all know I'm always saying it's multiple ways to skin a cat. I'm going to show you really quickly an easier way to do this for next time. With this method, I kept the top portion and I only cut two sides of the lamination paper. And that was way easier. So once you cut around it, what we're doing is we cut all the way around it so the Cricut can read the registration marks, okay? This, it says remove this top strip first. So this right here. Is going to be a guide for you so once you put it at the top put it all the way at the edge so once you put it at the top you guide it down like this and it just slides on perfect. Look how good that slid on. Beautiful, okay? So that slid on perfect. Looks great. So now all the registration marks are out. We're gonna go ahead, put it inside of our Cricut that feeds it in. And then, now it's gonna cut. Okay, so a couple of them were just a little bit off. They didn't mess up because it was on the bleed. They're a little bit off. Mind you, this is my first time doing this. So what you want to do is you don't want the back of the sticky paper or the vinyl to come off. So you want to just get these off. They're so cute though. They did come out cute. So I don't know why that it when they cut it sometimes it'd be off the print thing cut. I know people have said that before because look at this. <laughs> what is this? Come on now. This is not right. Keep watching and I'll show this you how good. I was able to fix this the print thin cuts. Though. This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. This one, this one, this one. Piece a little off. She a little off. You see that? She's off too. So it pick and choose which ones it wanted to. I don't know. That's strange. But it pick and choose which ones it wanted to mess up on. But it's okay. Because it's my very first time. And I'm going to give myself some grace. I called myself trying to fix the ones that were off by cutting them. And it looked a little better, but I actually really fixed them. And I can't wait to show you guys how. All right. So today is not Monday. I'm just putting this on here. Let's see how the stickers stick. All right. So it sticks really good. It's so cute. Oops. And then we're going to see if it can stick on this. 
Now, you know, you would have to seal this, all of that stuff. I just want to see. I'm going to put some alcohol to clean the area. Okay, so I clean the area with alcohol, let it kind of dry off. And I just want to see if it'll stick on here. It don't hurt but to try, right? Now, you know you have to seal this. You can't just, I mean, you could keep it on there just for yourself, but you wouldn't sell it or anything because you have to seal it. But I don't seal. I don't use epoxy or resin or anything, but you could do that if you wanted to. It's cute. I'm about to see. Absolutely love it. All right, so we did these. But you guys know me, these off-center things, I couldn't handle it. So I figured out how to fix it. See, that, was, that wasn't getting it for me. So let me show you how I was able to fix. And it's called Calibrate. The print then cut images, stickers. Yes, and you can use this for our print then cut. I fixed it, y'all. So let's go check that part out. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and go to the top left corner with those three lines. They call it the hamburger. We're going to click on that and we're going to press calibration. So what we're going to do is try to calibrate for print then cut. And we're going to calibrate our machine to ensure our cuts are printed and images are accurate. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to see if it works. All right, and let's put the correct printer on there. So basically, you're just going to follow everything that the screen says, and then you're going to see some magic happen, y'all. It was amazing to watch. But yep, that's literally it. And I'm just going to fast forward through it because if you do it yourself, the only thing you have to do is just follow the steps that it's telling you to do. And then y'all going to see how it fixed it. So in essence, if you don't know what calibration is, it's basically going to the first time it went through, it was off. And then I told them which lines were closest to correct. When I told them that the second time it was good. So they just needed to know where I guess they were off on, but it literally fixed it. It's amazing. So you guys look how good 10 and 11 look and look how good J looks and even the square. And I did this twice on here. You guys, look at this. My cut has never been this good. So I'm going to reprint my stickers out. So that is how you cut and calibrate your print then cut. We figured it out. Okay, y'all. So let's unload it. And oh my goodness. It did it it did it it's fixed this is beautiful we did it we figured it out look at that look at it y'all look at the donut it's perfect and it's, oh my goodness now look at the donut hole directly in the middle and then look it was off and i had to cut around this other one so that's how you know it's fixed Look, her feet not. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. So I'm going to go ahead, peel it off. It's okay, some of the stickers are on there. But it it pokes out perfect. Y'all, I almost want to cry. I'm so happy. Because y'all, if you know me, if you're not new here, you know how much of a per perfectionist I am and how I love getting stuff right. And when stuff don't come out right, I feel defeated. So I'm so happy. Get this off of here. Look at that. Look at the difference in the donut. Can you see that? Look at the difference. And I had to cut it around and it's not. Look at that. Perfect. The difference in the donut. <sighs> so happy. 
literally so happy with this and it comes so good with that transparency and then that's so y'all this is everything this is everything i hope it helps some people Let's scrape everything off we want to keep the backing on because that's the sticky part look at the difference you see how it's all the way around this one i gotta make sure y'all can see you see how it's all the way around this one but this one it was too close this side and too far that side look how much i got she has some platforms on look at the difference between the two okay so that's the difference and even this rise and grind you see how much at the bottom it is and you see how close it is there and this is just the middle part that wasn't cut off but you see that even the yes girl yes look at the difference how close it is but yeah that's amazing i'm absolutely so happy with it the yoga girl you see how much was at the bottom and how it, all, it really is around her now so the difference is The don't know what is the most difference for me. Look at this. Look how different those donuts look. Don't play with me. Yes, y'all. We did that. We did it. We did it. Okay. So, wasn't it amazing how good it was after we calibrated the Cricut? That was amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so happy I found that out. But yes, so now calibrate yours. If you calibrate yours and your printing cut works better, comment below and please let me know. Okay? um but yeah these stickers are absolutely amazing i love them and this one the yoga one and it's i have several different yoga ones because this is my clip art it is available on do dream one etsy shop but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video um, also in some of my videos i'm going to be showing you past projects that i've done because maybe you're new and you don't know some of my other videos so this is canvas oh, i don't want to get it it's a laminated canvas and it's sublimated so check this video out under my sublimation playlist okay so check that out and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already joined our facebook group queen dreamer we love it over there make sure you join that follow me on Instagram, do dream one is the handle. TikTok, do dream one is the handle. And my Shanita Nicole vlogging YouTube page. But yeah, y'all, I think we did a really good job. And um, I love y'all. Shanita, I think y'all did that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. here. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.